The country's new prime minister is sworn in yesterday. Good evening, everyone. I'm Keish Latterly, and welcome to the Bahamas Tonight. Topping the news, supporters of the Free National Movement turned out in large numbers last evening to witness the official swearing-in of the fourth prime minister in an independent Bahamas. It was the first in a series of swearing-in ceremonies to take place as a new government takes office. Here's LaDawn Davis. It was definitely the dawn of a new era. Dr. The Honorable Hubert Minnis was officially sworn here at Government House as the fourth prime minister of this great country after a landslide victory at the polls on May 10th. And on Wednesday, May 11th, the new prime minister gave an oath to serve his country with integrity. It's being viewed as a dawn of a new political era. As the Honorable Dr. Hubert Minnis was officially sworn in as the fourth prime minister of this country following a landslide victory at the polls on Wednesday, May 10th, the new Prime Minister took an oath to serve his country with integrity. And that I will not accept with the authority of the Cabinet and to such extent as may be required for the good management of the affairs of the Bahamas directly or indirectly, reveal the business or proceedings of the Cabinet or the nature or contents of any documents communicated to me as Prime Minister or any matter coming to my knowledge in my capacity as such and that in all things, I will be a true and faithful Prime Minister. The newly elected Prime Minister says he was highly pleased with the peaceful conduct of all registered voters who cast their ballots in the general elections and voted for a better Bahamas. He says the new FNM government will tackle the people's business head on. Friends from all walks of life, join hands and hearts to forge a new direction for our country. Now, we are witnessing another orderly transfer of power, a tremendous, with tremendous gratitude. I again thank the Bahamian people for reposing their trust in my party. We will honor this trust with an unwavering commitment to good governance, the rule of law, transparency, and accountability. Former and current parliamentarians spoke to the significance of the swearing-in. They all agreed that despite many trials as leader of the FNM, the new prime minister truly deserves the new post. He's been tried. He stood the test of time and he passed the test of trial. And so it was, it was a delicious moment tonight for me to witness him take the oath of office as the fourth prime minister of this country. It's the quintessential expression of a democratic society. He spoke to free and fair elections uh, that were not marred by violence. And so the Bahamian people came forward and they made uh, clear decisions on who they want to run this country. We've always had lawyers and I have nothing against them, but I believe that putting somebody with good business sense uh, as our prime minister ought to bode well for the future of our country. My, my leader, and I'm proud of his having reached the top. I had a shot, and uh, it's good to see the first Andrus man reach the top. From Government House, LaDawn Davis, ZNS Network News.